So welcome back everyone. Gonna do a small little update um, on the young birds right now. Um, as you can see the loft is quite empty. That's because they're actually flying right there. Don't think that's all of them. That would be a little on the low side. I think that's about 20. There should be 25 to 30. Oh yeah, some might be on nest actually. So yeah, that might be all of them. But yeah, was gonna do a small little update on the loft, what we got going on. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit right there. You can see on the, on top of the house, on the corner right there. Um, that's actually, the two time ace pigeon that's in the breeding loft usually um, but we put some old uh, cock birds on here on with the young birds just for some amusement so that uh, so that these little young cock birds can get a little bit more competition as you can see by the big grizzle uh, as many of you know, um, the Big Grizzle is my favorite pigeon out of all the pigeons that we own. Yeah, and that's that's the one. Uh, we did breed four pigeons, young birds, out of him, I believe. Uh, one made it for sure. Actually, his kid was the uh, first, last race video. Um, yeah, it was him. Number 82 or something, I don't know. But yeah, the grizzle that was first is out of him. Um, so yeah, we put uh, he, him in there. And obviously the one that's sitting out outside on the house, that's the two-time ace pigeon, uh, the blader we call him. And then we got another one, which is sitting, which has claimed that uh, box. Um, I don't know if a young bird was in there, but he might have been. But yeah, we put uh, three old cockbirds in here, on here just for some competition. Um, it might make the young young cockbirds or hens, but we weren't planning on uh, having them pair up with young hens uh, just for some competition for the for the other, other cockbirds. But yeah, I'm hearing some noise outside. So I'm gonna scare them up again because they need to fly again. They were only flying for about five minutes and that's a no-go. I'm actually not seeing... Oh yeah, that's the one with a uh, broken wing that we had as a dropper. Actually, might use that one as a dropper more often. But yeah, see, now there most of them are flying again, except some. Yeah, no, that's not the grizzle um, I'm intending. That was first last weekend. The grizzle at first usually sits on the greenhouse or in the trees, even though he was first. It's quite weird. But yeah, um, that's what we got going on. Put some extra cockbirds on here, like that one. Let's get a little, little bit more of a spotlight on him because that is my favorite bird. Very intelligent bird as well. I have actually made some videos of me holding him. Whenever like a uh, pigeon fancier comes and gets a lost young bird at our loft, we usually like uh, talk about pigeons and hand some over and always when we hand him over um, they tell us they tell us that they haven't had they haven't held a pigeon like him in their entire life so yeah I also wouldn't sell him for any money in the world just because uh, he's my grandfather's favorite pigeon uh, before he passed away so yeah he's unreplaceable replaceable for me but yeah the 
two time ace pigeon is actually a better uh, breeder although i don't know if you guys remember but from the old old year uh old bird season that we had um his kid was actually not 611 but uh, the older blue bar that always takes a while to drop that's his kit and uh, together with a Paul Sturks and um, the blue bar from upstairs. It was actually outperforming 611 for the second part of the season. So I would say that two time Ace Prison breeds better, uh, except for that one bird that we have right now. But yeah, it's just special to me, that bird. And there's the two time ace pigeon. Yeah, he's from 2010. So he's 11 years old now, going on 12. We usually don't let, let him out uh, because he's pretty valuable. But then again, uh, he hasn't had good eggs the last three, three or four nests even. So yeah, um, that's an end of an era, I think. Uh, so yeah, those guys are still flying. But yeah, we usually don't, uh, we wouldn't let him out if he still poked good eggs as we call it. I don't know if you guys noticed in the last racing video, but a lot of these, uh, these young birds right now are actually molting really bad. Um, you can tell by the feathers on the floor. Uh, have we got a young bird in here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we got one. Ah uh, no, that's, that one's not uh, tossed all of its feathers yet. But most of them, most of the second round birds actually are uh, tossing all, all their feathers. So we can't, we can't have them race obviously because they have a big uh, disadvantage. But they should be getting new feathers in few few weeks or days even uh, some have actually been molting for uh, a little over a week so yeah we don't actually darken to to have them stop molting uh, we don't have have that we never have done that so yeah that's why I will do a video um, about um, when we when we disinfect the pigeons for like small little insects and stuff like that. Oh, there he is. Let's get a closer look at him. That's it. Oh, he just went in. Okay. And that's the grizzle. The other one just went in. Where does he have his nest box? Oh, he's actually got two. This uh, red bar. Oh. Where is he at? He just went inside. Nope, oh, that's not it. Oh, here he is. So that's the two time ace pigeon. 2011. The grizzles and the grizzles. Oh no, this guy's 2010, I believe. So 11 years old, going on 12. And then the grizzle is 2014, which is 7 years old. Going on eight, so he should still breed uh, pretty good eggs. Yeah, when you see that guy fly, he only flies from uh, this the top loft uh, with the yellow roof to the house and back. He doesn't actually do any circles anymore. This guy does fly well, um, but we try to not uh, let him out. Just in case he gets, um, you know, grabbed by a predatory bird or a falcon or whatever, a hawk. So, yeah, he's kind of valuable to us. Let's have a look in here. I just saw someone fight. Yeah, this guy, the red bar is trying to get more than one uh, nest. It is quite dangerous for the young birds. Whenever they get, get fought out of a nest, uh, they stop, obviously they stop performing. They don't come home as good as them anymore. So always something to watch out for when you pair up. 
and some old birds in a young bird loft. Did I get them to fly? Oh, here they are. Yeah, they're flying a little bit longer now, which is good. We've had insane amount of troubles trying to get um, these pigeons to fly this year. Pretty much the worst flying year that we've had. Uh, in terms of getting them to fly around the loft, they only fly small circles like this. They don't range at all. Um, yeah, we've never had the most success with young birds ranging, except uh, in the end of 2017. We had five young birds. We had a small loft with five, five young birds and they ranged for about one hour to two hours even. So that's the most we've ever had young bird range. These uh, don't range at all, unfortunately. But yeah, better than nothing, I guess. Even though the grizzle that was just sitting on here uh, usually don't, doesn't fly at all. And he was home, home first uh, last race, so I don't know what's up with that, but he usually goes and sits in a tree. Yeah, he's sitting right there. That might be him, I'm not sure, but yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, you guys. Uh, as always, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And have a good day.